I forrige uke besøkte gjengen den idylliske bygda Urke. These must be the most beautiful fjords in the whole world. This is so beautiful to be here and doing the do not, do not. It's been the time of my life. Og det ble dessverre siste stopp for Julie og Mike som måtte dra tilbake til USA. I'm sick to my stomach. I did not want to go home yet. Norge er kanskje et lite land, men vi nordmenn, vi elsker å se på oss selv som annerledes, og gjerne som best. Altså, vi har den råeste naturen, vi er stolte av kulturen vår, og hver eneste gang vi selvfølgelig vinner en gullmedalje i OL, så elsker vi landet vårt. Det gjør også åtte norsk-amerikanere som har kommet hit for å kjempe om å bli den ene som vinner et etterlengtet møte med sin norske familie. Og for Deina, som har familie fra denne delen av landet, så blir det nok ekstra deilig å høre ordene «Velkommen til Lofoten». Vi nærmer oss nå Lekne, som før landing vil bli bedre å slå opp en polkassen og spenne fast setebelsene. Det var veldig spennende å se naturen fra aeroplanen. Jeg var sittet nærmest til Dana, og jeg visste at hennes familie var fra her, så jeg var veldig spennende for henne. It was amazing to look at the little islands and the houses, and in my mind, I just was telling myself that this is where my great-grandparents were from, and so it just kind of felt like a homecoming. It was awesome. I feel very blessed to be here in Lofoten, a place where people dream of coming, and I get to be here. I'm, I'm really lucky. Get her up there. Oh my god, what could be in here? It's not an animal. <laughs> when she saw the package coming down, like she was so confused. We were all so confused. Oh, it's what? an iPad. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a message. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then when she opened it up and saw the video, we were all just so happy for her because she's been waiting for this. Okay, here we go. Okay, play, press play. Hello, Donna. Uh -huh. You and I have something in common. Oh no. We share the same ancestors, and right now you are pretty close to the area where she was from. <laughs> During the stay in Lofoten, you will have the chance to learn more about your great grandmother and the rest of the family staying behind in Norway. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get to meet you at the end of your journey. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> Or as we say in Norway, lykke til. Lykke til. Your whole Norwegian family is rooting for you. Oh. See you. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. <laughs> for me, this is a, a circle of completion. And just seeing that guy, and I don't know what his name is or anything, but I know he's out there somewhere right now and other people are thinking about me. And it just was very touching. And I really want to meet them. Etter en følelsesladet ankomst, skal gjengen nå videre sørover til Moskenesøya på sykkel. I definitely don't mind the view. No. And the water is so pretty. I think probably the best way to see this island is by bike. So starting on a bike ride was a great way to be introduced to it. Can't wait for what's next. As we were biking, I was looking up at all the mountains and I was like, there's no way we're not hiking. We have to with all of these mountains. It's so beautiful. So we'll see. Hey guys. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to Lofoten. 
you may have realized that you're about to go hiking here in Lofoten. Mm. Yeah. And there is one rule when you hike in such wild and pristine nature, and that is no littering, okay? That's a law. And speaking of laws, we Norwegians, we have a set of laws inside us that we can't seem to get rid of. The first rule of these laws is that you shouldn't think you're anything special. And maybe my favorite is you shouldn't think that you're good at anything. <laughs> do you know what these laws are called? I do. You do? Yep, Njantaloven. That's right. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed the Norwegian modesty and shyness. I mean, we never brag about accomplishments. And uh, everyone is equal and no one is better than others. All this is thanks to Janteloven. There is very little Janteloven in the US. Um, look at our president. He's the best. He's the best at everything. Um, I think that the US could definitely use a little bit of Janteloven. And since you guys are Norwegian Americans, you might have some of this Norwegian modesty in you. And to help you overcome it, I have invited an Olympic champion to come here to Lofoten. Yeah. And he's coming right there. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. You like Norway so far? Yeah. yeah. This guy is Kjetil Andre Åmot, and he is the most decorated championship alpine skier Whoa. in history. I pay him a lot of money to, to say that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the Norwegian modesty I was talking about. Initially, it was pretty intimidating to meet, you know, such a prestigious person who's done all these just amazing things. Um, but he was, he was very humble and personable and actually quite funny. This week, Kjetil is going to take you camping. And he's going to prepare you for team competition, where you're going to need every ounce of competitive killer instinct if you want to win. <laughs> OK? And from now on, you know, it's all about being the best, you know? Thinking that you're going to be the best and to win this team competition. Are you all ready to win? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. OK. Chateau Andres is going to prepare us for this competition, so I'm a little worried because he's won a lot of medals, and he's a very fit guy, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be quite a challenge. Før de starter turen blir gjengen delt i to lag. Blått lag består av Dana, Matt, Kelsey og Chase. Og rødt lag består av Mark, Kirsten, Evan og Cheyenne. I'm excited about my team. Um, I'm a little nervous because the red team typically has lost, just in general, as the color. I just feel like we're all really motivated, and everybody here that's left, honestly, like the other team also, is they're going to be tough competition. So I feel like the teams are pretty even. But yeah, I, I love everybody on my team. We're like a family, so I'm not worried. Matt, you have yeah, one? What is it? That's oh. to, just to sit down when you want to have I'm a drink. Sure. Ah, nice. Your butt doesn't don't get cold, exactly. you know? <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of camping. So I wasn't super thrilled to be carrying not only my giant backpack, but a bunch of camping stuff over that giant mountain. Ready, guys? Let's go. Red team, blue team. I dag ska reiseföljde på tur till Kvalvika, hvor de ska tilbringe natten. På veien dit ska Kjetil Andre Åmott gi lagen i oppgave og utnevne en leder. Det valget kan bli avgjørende i ukas konkurranse. Who do you think is going Red team? Me? Yeah. Always red. But it, it's proven, actually. Yeah, yeah, if you have red color, you're more likely to actually succeed. I thoroughly enjoy being out in nature, especially here in Norway. Uh, it makes you feel very peaceful. Listen up, red team, blue team. Yeah. To be able to be a great team, you need a great team leader. So the question is, who on your team are up to an important task like that. Okay? Great. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, we already decided. Sorry. What? It's you. Probably oh, you. Me? Duh. Everybody, yeah. You, we already chose. Oh. Matt is a natural leader, whether he knows it or not. So when we were told we needed to pick a leader, the three of us kind of looked at each other and went to Matt, you. If people are that confident, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and come through for them. I think the key to a good leader is somebody who can dictate and like be like, okay, you're good at this and you're good at this, and so you know, it's not just about like 
like plowing the way. It's about like making sure that we work together as a team. I think right. I'm pretty good at that, so I would I would be okay with being the sure. leader if that's. I support I you in that. I support you in that. And if we mess up, it's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Norway. Um, here we are. You can see the the uh, Chicago skyline behind me. Yeah, I can schnock a lit norsk. These are my kids. Here's my husband, John. Hello. What do I do? Oh my God. What don't I do? Let's just call me Supermom. Yeah. My mom is. I don't get paid any money for. Did I mention that I run a Nordic theater company? Can you schnock a Norsk? Nein. <laughs> it's you answer with German. <laughs> what do you Skiing, think? Skiing, by the way, is huge over there. And you are a skier. But I've never cross country skied. And that's it's like about, the biggest part of it. And they will, <laughs> they will probably teach you how to do that at some point in time over there. I've dreamed about Norway since I was a kid. And I just can't wait to be a, among the land that my family is from. Just enjoy it, my goodness. Uh, what an opportunity. So. Thanks, Dan. Reisefølge har kommet halvveis til Kvalvika. Og Kjetil André har tatt laglederne til side for å gi dem et hemmelig oppdrag. Ok, guys. Tomorrow is the big competition. I can't tell you exactly what's going on. But there are three things that are really important. It's stamina, it's pain, and brain. I cannot tell you exactly how you should pick each individual for each task tomorrow. But what's important? You're not allowed to say those three words to your teammates. Okay. It's going to be an interesting competition. Mm. The secret mission is really awesome. It's, it's my style because I've been analyzing everybody since the second I met them. <laughs> you know, like politely, not judging. But, um, you know, this is still a competition whether we're friends or not. And um, you got to pay attention to those kind of things. So, I mean, now I've been asked to do it, <laughs> essentially, so perfect. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. How did it go? go? Good. Good? good. Yeah. Hey, what can you tell us? Um, I can't tell you anything, but I feel pretty good. You can't tell us anything? Nope. Uh -huh. Lots of twists, huh? Okay, guys, so let's go. Awesome. Okay. Lofoten are so fint. Jeg liker um, havet. Det er så blå. Og fjeller er så fint. Og yeah, I don't know what else to say. Ok, guys. Welcome to Kvalvika. Kvalvika. That means Wales Bay. Cool. What do you think of the view? Oh my god. It's great. It's amazing. And right down here on the beach is where we are going to camp tonight. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Kvalvika is beautiful, stunning, amazing, breathtaking, gorgeous, all those things. This is home. OK, good luck setting up the camp, guys. Does anyone know how to put a tent together? Yes. No. Yes, we okay. do, but we, we need to know what this Glad tent is. you're on my team. Okay. I feel like I was hoping it was going to be a trick. You know, they were going to make us take these packs and all this camping gear, and we were going to go over the mountain. There was going to be a beautiful hotel on the other side for us to stay at. There wasn't. We got four people in there? Are you crazy? It's going to be cozy. Um, Look at the size of this thing. I know. <laughs> I've never seen a tent this big. Yeah, I guess if I were to compare our tents, it's kind of like we got the Taj Mahal and they got like, I don't know, like a little huta. <laughs> but they'll be cozy and warm no matter what. <laughs> okay, blue team, red team, tomorrow is a big day, a very important competition for you guys. And uh, in Norway, we have a song that a team that wins are singing. 
I'm a horrible singer, <laughs> so I don't know if it is a practical joke that I have to learn you this. <laughs> but I'll try to, to start. It starts like Victory is Ours, which in Norwegian is Sajern Avoir. Sajern Avoir. Yeah, and we say that twice. Sajern Avoir, Sajern Avoir. Sajern Avoir, Sajern Avoir. Then we say Vi har vinne. Vi har vinne. That means we have won. Then we repeat again, Sajern Avoir. Sajernavor. 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 Vi har Sajernavor. I think the Sajernavor song is so not Jenteloven. It's just like, seems like the stark contrast to that. That's a song you can, you know, jump around on the beach when you have a victory tomorrow. Dig it in. <laughs> I don't like that song at all. <laughs> the meaning is kind of terrible. I mean, it's good to have to be happy and celebrate with one another, but that's like blatant rubbing it in people's face, you know? And you can repeat it and repeat it and sing louder and louder and louder, you know? And it goes to echo between the mountains here, maybe, huh? I sure hope after the competition that we're the ones that are singing that song because I'm going to sing it at the top of my lungs. Okay, guys, you should probably get some sleep. It's going to be hard because it's the first day of the year where we have a midnight sun. It's just going to be light all night. <laughs> Me, I, I need my beauty sleep, so I have booked myself a hotel room. <laughs> but before I leave, I want to give you this iPad. There is a message from Fritjof there. You're not allowed to open it, the message, before in the morning. There you go. See you tomorrow. I cannot wait to spend the night here. The view's amazing, the sun's out, you know, in the ocean, it's, it's an infinite view. It's awesome. Om litt er det klart for konkurranse. Oh my god, faster, faster! I believe I'm gonna like this competition the most out of anyone we've done so far. Left. Left. Right. right. Left. Oof. How am I doing? Am I doing good? Fast! You're a beast! Yeah. Oh, fucking A! No way! Efter en lang fjelltur har norskamerikanerne kommet frem til vakre Kvalvika. Mellom de ruvende Lofotfjellene og det endeløse havet skal de nå få oppleve årets første døgn med midnattssol. Hva skal vi kalle det hvis det ikke er en sunset? Hva skal det gjøre? Hvordan skal det gjøre? Hvordan skal det gjøre? Det er det jeg ikke forstår. 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 Så det skal det gjøre over den veien også? No, I just couldn't. Oh. I just want to feel. But at some point in time, the sun's going to be over there, right? <laughs> no. No? It's not? The thing with the midnight sun is like, I know that the sun goes somewhere, but then it's also like, comes over there. So I didn't know if we we're going to actually see it move to the east behind us or where it goes. Because I feel like it disappears. You don't see it, but then it's there over there. Oh, that's yeah, going to be real good. Really good. Yeah, that's going to be a so stinky. It's going to be real messy, yeah. It's going to go stuff. all over your beard. Really <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I probably complain more than the others about all the outdoorsy things, but I ended up having a great time in Kvalvika. Everyone gets along great. We had the campfire going. I really enjoyed it a lot. Men ikke alle kan ta helt fri. Laglederne Matt og Kirsten må finne ut hvem som har hjernen på laget, hvem som er mest utholdende, og hvem som har høyest smerteterskel før konkurransen braker løs. I tenker jeg Mark, fordi han er bare en levende, snakkende brain, og han er konstant spørsmålet. Du ser dette. Hva har du der? Det kom ut av denne lille handen, slik. Det ser perfekt ut for deg. Vi skal elektrifisere det. Vet du at hun fikk en perfekt score på ACT? Det er ikke perfekt. 36 is perfect. Oh, is a perfect. oh well. Oh my gosh. You could have like gone to Yale. For the brain category, Kelsey. Like she pays attention to detail and she remembers it. And when she hears something to do with the language or a name, it sticks. Yeah. Did you <laughs> swim in the fjord? Sweat. I swam. swam. Yeah, I swam. I swam. Yeah. You handled it though. I handled what? In the cold water. Oh, that cold water. It wasn't that cold. Oh. For the pain category, I'm gonna go with Dana. I think Dana's a mom. She's 
she's been through some stuff. You know, we hear about it, and um, she's really tough. I have not physically tested her pain tolerance. <laughs> I feel like that could go really wrong, but I have a lot of faith in her. As far as pain goes, I haven't, uh, I haven't really figured that out yet, but I might, you know, try pinching them or punching them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, like, that's the one that somebody, like, says all the time. What are you doing? Just giving her a foot massage. Up. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Strong hands. She's so gentle, this one. <laughs> Don't be fooled. <laughs> all right, it's about midnight, Arctic Circle. And these crazy fools are about to jump in the water. At midnight, we went swimming because it was the first night of the midnight sun, so we said, let's go swimming at midnight. Oh my gosh, these guys are nuts. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Woo! It was super cold, uh, and I had pins and needles in my ankles and my legs, but it was like, when are you ever gonna be able to swim in the Arctic like that? Oh, he went for it! Well, that's one more thing to knock off the bucket list. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. See you later today. Good to go. You know, I kind of thought the nature thing was growing on me. And it is, more than it is when I'm in the city. But I think I'm all full up. <laughs> I slept terrible. It was cold, it was sunny, uh, we were crammed into a teeny tiny tent. I also really have a strong affinity for toilets that flush, uh, which I'm starting to wonder if Norwegians prefer outdoor toilets or not. So I've got the uh, iPad oh, message the from Fridjof. Good morning, campers. Morning. I hope that you've had a good night's sleep because this day is going to be eventful, and especially for you, Dana, because now it's time for you to learn more about where your family no came from. Way. So you can get your stuff and get ready to go to Omnia, and the rest of you can pack your bags and get ready for the competition. I'll see you guys soon. I can't believe I'm gonna actually go there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason we came here, right? <laughs> Yeah, but I just thought, you know, we've gotten really close to other people's places and haven't had letters. I just thought maybe I'd just be close. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. And now I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll see you at the competition, okay. I suppose. Hopefully. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Mens resten av gjengen pakker ned teltene, skal Dana få besøke et hus på Andøya som er av stor betydning for hennes slektshistorie. Dette var nemlig stedet hennes oldemor forlot for over 100 år siden. Jeg har aldri forstått helt hvorfor å komme tilbake til Norge var så viktig for meg til jeg faktisk kom her. Da jeg vokte opp til familiehjem, then I understood more that there was some healing that needed to be done for the family. And so coming here physically, um, I'm able to do that. If you had all this, I don't know why you'd leave. I don't know, I think my great grandmother was probably, I don't know, 18 or something maybe when she left. So she grew up here, could have been born here. And, um, would have played here, got in trouble here, <laughs> if she's anything like me. Wow. Welcome to Andoya and Tranmes. Your ancestors live, lived in several places around the Vestaölen, but around mid-1800s, they settled here at Tranmes when your great-great-grandparents, Nils and Gertrude Suzanne, took over the house you see here today. Nils was a smart and competent man, and in addition to 
starting a general store here, he also managed to take over the postal service in the area. I think that running a business is kind of in our DNA or something. I've always kind of felt entrepreneurial. If I only had a chance, I could do this. I'm smart enough. I, I'm hardworking, all these things. And, I, and I'm sure that's how um, the Lockhart family felt. Business and life was good, and Nils and Susanna had several children. A total of eight was brought up here. In 1877, they had their fifth child. You know her as your great-grandmother, Birgitte Lockhart. Eventually, cars took over for boat transport, leaving Trenes un an unfavorable place for business. Maybe these bad times placed, uh, played a part in why Brigitte decided to leave this place, or maybe she was just adventurous. Either way, in 1903, she leaves Norway from the port of Trondheim. Her destination is Centerville, South Dakota, in America. I can't imagine ever wanting to leave Andoya. I'm sure my grandmother, my great-grandmother must have just stared at it before she left, like this is the last time and maybe even she thought it might not be the last time, but it actually was. I mean, there's just the unknown. And, and going to the United States is like just the biggest leap. Birgit stays in America the rest of her life, but stays in contact with her family by sending letters. It was clear that the love between them remained strong. Oh, although your relatives no longer live here at Trenes, they are not far away. If you have a look across the fjord, you can catch a glimpse of a place called Risoyan, where some of your living Norwegian family lives today. So, I got relatives right over there. I wonder what they're up to. But I'm gonna find out, because uh, my plan is to win all for Norga and meet my family. I'm glad there was no sad story here. I have to think that Brigitte was adventurous because uh, her boyfriend, Paul, was pretty good looking, so yeah, she had that going for her. <laughs> Tiden er inne for ukas lagkonkurranse, og mye står på spill. Deltagerne på det tapende laget må nemlig konkurrere mot hverandre neste uke, og to av dem må da reise hjem til USA. Det er super viktig for meg å vinne, for det betyr at jeg er så mye nærmere til å få meg med min familie. Jeg vil ha beat Blue Team veldig, veldig dårlig. Vi er halvt ved denne reisen. And I want to stay the whole way. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about Norway being here, and I want to continue that journey. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. In this competition, there is no second place. It's all about going for gold. Now, team leaders, I need you to stay here because we have to talk to you. But the rest of you, you can go wait over there. All right. I am nervous. You know, I think we all are. You know, maybe Kirsten and I are a little bit more. <laughs> Just because I don't want to send someone home because of a decision I make. You know, that's my real concern, really. Okay, the competition is as follows. The four gold medals are spread out over four posts. One of the posts, you have to dig out a gold medal buried in the sand. That's hard work, so you need somebody with stamina. Another post, the gold medal is connected to an electric labyrinth. That means you need someone who can endure pain and electric shocks. A third post, you have to solve a riddle to release the gold medal. So you need somebody who is smart under pressure. The last post is really easy. You just need to cooperate together and kick a football into a hole. It's not quite as easy as it sounds because you'll have to do it on tandem skis. So there are three people on each set of skis. I have Mark as the brain, Evan on pain, and Cheyenne on stamina. 
I don't know what my job is in this, but I'm hoping I'm going to help them succeed. <laughs> so stamina, Chase seemed to be the obvious choice. He's a runner, he's in good shape. Pain, Dana, she's tough. I've seen her overcome a lot of things. And brain, Kelsey, she's smart. She has excellent test scores, remembers everything. It, when she hears something, it sticks. She's sharp. All right, Kirsten, Matt, you know what to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. All the choices are made? Yes. yes. All right, ready, set. Oh my god. All right, team skis. All right, we knew We're it. Going. We knew it. Put them on, go here we way. go. Behind this way. Oh my god, Come on. faster, faster. Come on. Run. You guys got to get on these skis? We all have to be on the nice skis? Nice and slow, yes. All, okay. all three okay. together. All right. All right. Left, okay. first. right left first. All right, communicate. Here we go. Go, left. Kelsey. Left. Left. Right. right. Left. Left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's not the worst. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Um, okay, I can go. Okay, I'm not. I'm ready when you're ready. I'm not doing well, guys. It's I'm not okay. doing well either. Okay. It was really frustrating when we couldn't get the skis moving because we could see the other team moving. It, it just felt like we were doomed. Can we move or no? We Not yet. For Evan. Fuck. Men rødt lag sliter med bindingene sine. Har blått lag allerede kommet seg til første post. We're going right there. And Chase. Yeah. There's a medal in there. Get it. Dig fast and hard. Stay in the skis? No, get out. You can get out. Dig. Fast. <laughs> and when you get it, put it on. Chase digs like an absolute beast. Like, he looked like a filthy animal digging through that sand. It was awesome. How deep? I don't know. So, <laughs> just, just keep go digging. For it, dude. Well, Chase was very hilarious. You know, I knew he'd go get it. He's just kind of that guy, and he had his butt in the air, and it's just assholes and elbows. Keep going, man. You got this. You're doing good. There it is. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Blått lag har hentet den første medaljen og fått en veldig god start på konkurransen. Rødt lag har endelig fått på seg skiene, men Evan sliter fortsatt med å få bindingen til å sitte ordentlig fast. Go, left, left, right, right, whoa, left. left. I'm falling out. Guys, okay. Are you in? No, it's snapped out. Okay, when you're ready, go. Lift up. Guys. I'm lifting up. I think it totally dropped our, our morale um, in the beginning. I think when the bindings weren't working, I think it just like made us feel like like th this was going to be crappy. Left. Left. Lift up. Oh, Guys, this like that buckle. This, this isn't buckle like is functioning fucked. right. This sign right. says right. no pain, no gain. Right. Dana, this is you. Right. This Dana, is you. you got it. And I'm into the sign. And you need to get this metal. So you need to touch it. It is electric. You need to be tough, stay focused. Get that metal off there and it's yours. It's kind of uh, painful to go up to your friend and tell them, your job is to get electrocuted and suffer. <laughs> I chose you for this and the team's depending on you. <laughs> you got it. Oh, oh, fucking A, no way. Oh, that zap was a good zap. That, that was pretty fierce. I, got, I can't lie. This and then you got it. Just on, stay very, very oh, focused. I can't very do it. Focused. You got it. You can do it. Just relax. I can't your do zen. That. You know you have your zen. I bet a lot of electricity, you guys. What goes through your head is like, I'm done. I'm, I'm not. I can't do this, but I, I got to. Rip it up. Yeah. Try flicking it. Try flicking it. If you, you know. There okay. You go. Okay. Keep doing that. Okay. Try Make it again. Make sure it goes forward. So if you have to hit. There, there you go. go. See, that was a great move. Oh, awesome, good job, Dana. Awesome, you got awesome, this. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job, Dana. You're doing really good. Holding on to it, I'd be completely zapped, so I thought I'll just kind of start flicking it, and hopefully hopefully that would work. Almost there. Beautiful. You got it. Right there. Almost there, Dana. You got it. Go, 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 go. She started out kind of rough, but then she came up with something that I did not think of, and that was just to kind of flick it through there, and she didn't have to get electrocuted again, and it made it through pretty quickly. Just you got keep it. ripping it. There you oh, go. Oh, okay. All right, All right. All right. good medal. All right. Good medal. Good job, good Dana. Job. Blått lag har nå hentet to gullmedaljer, og det røde laget er nødt til å få fart på skia hvis de har lyst til å vinne denne konkurransen. Left again. Evan, move your feet. Left. I'm moving them. Left, okay, right. Right. Guys, okay. see, I move them, and then right. it's... All right, Cheyenne, this is, this is you, and you gotta dig. I was super motivated at that point. I was just trying to dig, like, 
I had no idea if I was even in the right direction, but I just like, I wanted it really bad. And I was trying to make up for a lost time. Keep going, it's deep. Okay, I feel it. Okay, good, good, good. Get on, get on, get on. Good, put it on your, put it on your body. Okay. Left. And stop. Right. This one says brain. So, you are left. That's it. There's a riddle you need to solve for a medal. Okay, I can't help you. Ah! You got it, Kelsey. Denne posten består av fem spørsmål med et tall bak hvert av dem. Tallet viser hvilken bokstav i løsningsordet som skal brukes til kodelåsen. One, big, yellow and hot. So is that the first letter of that? So that's the sun. Two, the Lofoten airport, L for Lechness. Your transportation to the foot of the mountain. Bicycle, if there's no B, I'm doing S for Sikkel. Beach where you spent the night is named after an animal, W for whale. The host of Fridjof. The host of Alfred Norga. F for Fridjof. Is that it? No, it's not. What am I doing wrong? Hun ble stående litt med denne båten der, altså. Det er håp for rødt, allikevel. Come on! It was so frustrating. Like, normally I'm good at these types of things, but I just... Like, I kind of saw my team losing, flashing before my eyes, and I was like, it's gonna be all my fault. What am I doing? Fridjof, come on! Where's the F on this thing? Kelsey finner fram til de riktige svarene, men overser tallet som står etter gåtene. Hun tror at den første bokstaven i hvert ord vil gi den riktige kombinasjonen til å åpne låsen. Watching Kelsey trying to complete the riddle was difficult. It was very apparent that she was getting frustrated. And there's no F in this. Like, there's no way that... There's gotta be something else. And there's no way it can be. Like, there's no way. It's five, and number five is the host of Alt for Nordica. Left. Right. Left. Right. Men nå... Nå skjer det noe. Nå har Kirsten begynt å si hva hun skal gjøre. Ja. Nå skjer det noe positivt her. Oi, oi, oi. Dette er bra. Evan, this is you. No pain, no gain. You gotta go through this labyrinth. It's gonna hurt. You just gotta do it as fast as you can, okay? Just go, 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 go. Yes! Okay. Being electrocuted is not my favorite thing I've ever done. Um, but when you're trying to win, I guess you don't think about it that much. No, sure. No, I'll tie that in. Right. Right. Left. Right. Kelsey står dønn fast her, da. Ja, nå er det. What does this mean? Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Okay, this is you. Uh, there's, there's a, um, yeah, Mark, Mark, this is you. Now it's actually licked. Now it's actually licked. Herregud, I had never thought of it. Go down there, there's a riddle, you gotta solve it and open the padlock. We're tied right now, so don't worry about it. You got this. I don't know what else to do. We're still doing fine. The other team's not getting ahead of us. You know, don't worry about it. He's still on the bed. He's still on the bed. What does this it. mean then? One, two, two. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. For some reason I got stuck on, oh, it's the first letter of each word. And then I was like, well, what if it's just that word and the parentheses, that number corresponded to the number of the letter in each word. Do whatever you think is best. That's why I chose you, because I believe that you were the person to do this. <laughs> S. Okay. So, Lufthansa Airport 2, second letter is E, and then second letter in bike. Okay, and then E? R. Try it. Oh! Okay. Oi, there has Kelsey got it. Sayer. 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 Of course, it was Sayer. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Oh, man. So, I don't know how I didn't realize that before, but... I did at some point, so that's all that matters now, I guess. Left. Okay, right. left. Okay. Organized. Right. right, left, right. What does that mean? The big yellow and hot one? Oh, oh, it's the se oh the first letter. So uh, first letter, second letter, maybe. Loft and airport is Lekis, right? S E. Uh, I noticed at the end of the question, there's a number, and that number corresponds to the letter in the answer. So two was this, and three was that. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Oh my god, when Mark got the riddle figured out, I felt like we were still in it, so it felt awesome. Go, go! Get in! Woo! All right, 
right, if we fucking kill this, then it's still possible. Nå gleder jeg meg til å se den fotballsparkingen på tandemski. Ja. Det kan bli stor underholdning. One, two, three, left. Right, left, right. Good, good pace, guys. Se, de har fått dreist, da. Ja, ja, se på de. One, two, three, right. We need to get the ball to go left. Dana, you yep. got need to have a smaller step. You, okay. Dana, don't step. Dana, yeah. don't step. You guys yep. step a little. Yes, I'll just okay. follow Kelsey's step. All right. I got a little bit frustrated um, trying to just make everybody move in sync. Like, we were almost there. And at that point, you could see a red team across. And I was like, oh, my gosh, they're catching up. They're, like, almost right where we are. I was so nervous. We want to stay, keep it on this side so it doesn't go towards the, the ocean, but we got to kick it over there. One, two, three, left. But a pit of sun up on the I not Yep, good, good, good. OK. Um, Good, good, good. We're doing good. Okay. One, two, three, left. I, oh. oh, hold on. What's going on? Left. Right. 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 Left. And let's go get our medal and right. ring the bell. It felt awesome to get the ball in the hole finally. And I put it on and we ring it. That won't the blow log, yeah? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not the perfect leader, but you guys follow through. Sayanavor, Sayanavor, we are winner, Sayanavor. You guys did a good job. I mean, oh we did the God. best we could. Oh. I totally feel responsible for the loss, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly how, but I feel like I could have done something. Congratulations, guys. Oh, my God, thank you. As much as we want to um, cheer, and we're excited and happy for ourselves. We also know that the people that we care about and love are gonna be facing a challenge next week, and that uh, is really hard, and we don't wanna see anybody go home. I think both teams gave everything they had, but uh, the blue team pulled through, and that means that you have to compete against each other next week. I feel like I legitimately did my best. I feel bad that I dropped some F-bombs because I think my grandparents are going to be watching this. But other than that, I just now got to prepare for the next competition. Vi fortsätter reisen videre inn over i Lofoten neste uke. Og da skal norske amerikanerne våre få lov til å hjelpe lokalbefolkningen i Henningsvær på et litt uventet vis. Og så må du røre laget ut i en skjebne svanger konkurranse. Vi ses om en uke. Vi har vunnet seierne vår. Lofoten har mye mer å by på for våre norsk-amerikanske venner. Henningsvær er så beautiful. So charming. If I could get citizenship here, I may never leave. Her skal de drive sin egen restaurant. This here is my good friend Johan, and he's what we call rockekok. 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 In English, it just doesn't translate very well. Og til slut blir to av dem nødt til å forlate alt for Norge. I was shocked and disappointed, and I felt surely shitty. Stir.